Mod 92A1. Thought we'd uh, give her a shot. Now I've been messing around with this. I got it plugged up with, uh, I bought these lead BBs. Thinking, yeah, they're heavier, they'll do more damage. Wanted to do some experiments. Put them in first. Didn't know what the fuck I was doing, and I uh, clogged the gun. So anyway, popped that out, no big deal. And I uh, got a couple shots off. You can see there's a water bottle down on the floor leaking right now. So this thing actually works full automatic. I keep pointing this at Andrew. He probably doesn't appreciate it. Just kidding. The uh, action is back. This is a full blowback. It's not loaded. You can see right in the chamber. We've got a BB loaded. Um, so basically it's like any other firearm, but this is a BB gun. You know, it fires full automatic, so let's just give you a shot. I got this can of uh, green beans here. Let's give her uh, a little bit of a shot. Yeah, that CO2 is definitely low. Did we get any holes? In oh, it's leaking. <laughs> I got hit all right here. <laughs> Did you really? It's leaking like a motherfucker. It's got like... Oh, let's, let's take a look. It's got one, two, three, four, five holes in it. So, yeah. I felt like... I felt like five, five <laughs> me. You can see there's a bunch of holes. This is double thick cardboard. This is my backstop. So, yeah, that's why we heard that ricochet. But, yeah, all in all, pretty good test. Uh, we're going to do a lot more tests. Uh, we're going to use meat. We're going to use uh, all kinds of different shit. Because, basically... What I feel is, uh, you see my buddy here, he's open carrying. It's a real firearm. No, this versus that, this ain't shit. But really, though, this compared to, say, a knife or a lot of other forms of self-defense, this would be a pretty effective uh, tool to have. Because, first of all, Michigan law says that this is not a firearm. So you can actually carry this uh, concealed. He has to open carry that. He uh, doesn't have a concealed permit. Do you? So he doesn't have a CPL. So he has to open carry. Now I can conceal this all I want. Uh, put it in uh, my friend that makes Kydex holsters. I could uh, put it in a in a hide holster. You know they make all different ones like that. Fancy one to pull up out. <laughs> okay, blah, 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 blah. All right, but anyway, we're. I'm not saying use this versus a firearm, but if you had to. It'd be better than not having anything at all. Your fists are great. I've been in lots of fights. It's good to be able to fight, but it doesn't always. I've also had a gun pulled on me. I've also shot a man with a real gun. So there's, you know, the, all situations are different, but let's say there was a mass shooter or there was, you know, somebody firing off into a crowd. I would rather have something like this and I could put, say, a bunch of little uh, copper or steel or lead BBs once I figure all that out, right into that individual is a much more likely to stop them than me throwing a can of fucking pop at them, okay? But yeah, I mean, I really think, uh, I, I watch a guy, he's called the 8-Bit Guy. I think he has this thing called, like, the, you've seen him? I've seen him. Yeah, the 8-Bit Guy. Did you know he actually has an air gun channel, and he did a video about, he's a nerdy, cool guy, the 8-Bit Guy. Look him up. He's got a lot of popular videos. He does old videos about, like, Commodore 64s yeah, and, and shit. Yeah, if you haven't seen that guy, he, to me, it's super interesting because I grew up on those old computers. I was on the Internet before there was an Internet on BBSs. So, yeah, that's why I like him. But one day I'm on YouTube, and I come across this video about this guy, and he's talking about how you can use... Uh, air guns like this, pistols for self-defense. Now he wasn't using full automatic. He just had the uh, the old semi-auto. I got one of those right here. This is a semi-automatic. You know, I've got the uh, got the finger laser on there. I mean, it, yeah, I think this thing might be loaded up. Let's see. No, nope, it's not loaded up. I'm still going to put a CO2 in it. But you look, and it looks fairly real in a situation where you needed to use something like he was saying. You've got that shock effect where you pull that out. <laughs> that's brandishing a firearm. It's a felony. Don't do it. But if you had to, just the sight of it is enough to stop. 92% of cases, it does stop another individual. They say that 92% of the time that a gun is pulled, nobody is shot, and the crime doesn't occur. 8% of the time, yes, a gun gets pulled, somebody's shot, or some kind of crime occurs. But 92% of the time, this is enough to stop something from happening. And if you could back it up with some full automatic shot, you <laughs> saw how fast that shoots and fires. 18 rounds in one and a half seconds. That's pretty freaking intense. I like this thing. I had, This was so much fun. Um, I'm just going to do a lot of tests. You know, I have my other projects that I do. If you've watched my channel, um, I've got this here. 
I make the uh, 3D printed, uh, yeah, that's dead too. But I make the 3D printed rounds for paintball guns. They're rifled. They're, I make them out of metal filament on my 3D printer. I make them out of plastic filament. They fire straight as a fucking arrow. They fire wherever you put them. And if you hit somebody with those, it's got some takedown power. So my plan was to order some of those pistols that I found. They look like real pistols. They got a big old opening on them. They got that mean factor to them. They're scary looking. And they hold seven shots semi-automatic. And so with the metal filament, you know, and I came up with some exploding rounds, but we're not <laughs> going to talk about that. Um, but those would be a pretty good, effective self-defense weapon. I also have my fireworks gun, like I was telling Will about. It's a, it looks like a real gun. It's 3D printed. But it actually uses a standard off-the-shelf firework that I can get that fires eight flaming balls in two seconds. It's got electronic ignition, so you just... Yeah, you know, you point it out, and you fucking, you don't need a license or anything for that. And you pull it out, and somebody's in front of you, just eight shots, and it's flaming, exploding balls going at them. I mean, yeah, once you fire it, it's going off, and there's no stopping it. But, I mean, think about firearms. Firearms like what you got are designed to blow somebody's fucking head right off their <laughs> shoulders. You ever seen somebody that's been shot? I have. Nice. It's fucking disgusting. I mean, you shoot them right here and they get a big fucking hairy. hole. <laughs> yeah, that's designed to kill people. These are not. That's Bitch. what I'm into. Less lethal weapons. And I really, I just enjoy them. I like fucking around with them. I'm an inventor, so if you watch my channel, that's what I do. You know, I play around. Now, I, my inventions for helping people and changing the world, those are the ones that I really... You know, those are those are the things I like. But you gotta have fun. You gotta play around. God fuck around. That's what I'm doing right now. But anyway, if you like this kind of shit, if you wanna see this in the future, you wanna see some other firearm stuff or crazy inventions like my extreme deflagration burner I'm working on right here that's <laughs> in the video when you, 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 you got started. Yeah, yeah, I got it running. And then this is this kiln is gonna be uh, that old kiln, I don't know if you can see it in the field of view there. Uh, that's going to be for my extreme deflagration burner. I'm building this so I can melt metal down. Uh, it's for my memorial company. I'm making these plaques essentially out of molten, uh, well, I'm making them out of brass and some other metals. Uh, they're for funeral purposes. They're to put somebody's ashes inside of, and you can attach them to a tree. You can put a pet's ashes in them. I'm going to make them. I'm going to 3D print them. They're going to have words and stuff on them. They're cool as hell. And I just got to get to the point where I can melt the metal and then you can put the ashes inside of them and you're going to have a hollow cavity in them and they're going to be designed so they can never be opened once I seal them or you put your stuff in. Uh, I'm going to be selling those, that's my business. i got to work on i got a lot of work to do but I invented this burner, it's called the Extreme Deflagration Oil Burner to operate this kiln to melt metal because I wanted to do it in my own way. If you know me, I like doing shit a different way. That's just what I do. He knows. <laughs> Do a lot of weird shit. But anyway, thanks for watching. If you like it, like I was about to say, just like, subscribe, watch my channel, uh, make a comment. Love to hear your comments. You make comments. That's what drives my uh, viewership to my channel. I also respond to every, each and every individual comment. So thank you. Have a great day. Nope. All right, Andrews are going to take some shots. Go ahead, Andrew. I'm going to protect my eyes with the camera. Oh yeah, that was slick. Let me show you its features. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Huh? Did it get the can? Well, it's fucking leaking. <laughs> I think it can leak. Yeah, I think you got some right in the same <laughs> fucking hole, man. There's a lot of holes in there. You can't really see it because of the label. Let's see. Really not it's many really leaking there. quite a bit outside. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. Look at all that shit everywhere. Okay, there's some holes in the back. I'm not really sure where you hit, Andrew, but that was cool. Yep, she's out. Did you hear it run out? Yep. All right. And what we're going to be doing, we're just going to do a quick test of this new little toy I got. This is a full automatic Beretta. It's a blowback BB gun. It shoots BBs. I got these uh, gamma lead BBs to try out. Figured uh, it would be a little denser and uh, have a little more energy. Alright, so let's check out what's in the box here. Got, oh, boxings are stupid, but a little owner's manual. Probably 
la-la-la, like uh, Survival Russia would say. And here's the main event. Looks like they wrapped it in plastic. Glad it's not in a stupid clamshell. I hate those packages. Ooh, this thing heavy. Crazy. This is, a, this is a solid metal gun. Nice. Solid metal. Little accessory rail there. Let's check it out. Hands are dirty from working outside. It's got a little bit of a sticker on there. A gun oil on there. Pietro Beretta. Can't really get it to focus. This isn't my regular camera. But yeah, it's supposedly a full blowback, so let's test her out. Give her a shot, as they say. Alright, so here's the, uh, got the, got the magazine. Thought I'd throw this right at the end. Um, this is how you change out the CO2. Pretty cool. I mean, it's like any standard, if you're familiar with them. It's like any standard, uh, air pistol. Oh, it's gonna be a bitch. Come on, motherfucker. Come on. <laughs> she is being a bitch. Alright, I'll be back with you later. <laughs> well, you see how it is. The CO2 is in there. Once I figure out how to get it out of there, then we'll uh, put a new one in and take some more shots.